like there's a, there's a quote in this book that I like, and uh, it, it arrested my attention. It says, there's a promise on my now that's greater than my past. There's a promise on my now, and it's greater than my past. Talk about talk about that, man. I, I like that, man. That, that, that means, that, that, that for me literally says to me that in spite of what I've gone through, my past does not disqualify me for the plan that I had on my life. Amen. Because sometimes people will hate you based on speculation, but God will love you with the evidence. <laughs> That's major. People will hate you on speculation, but God will love you with the evidence. Because God is sovereign. God, 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 your past does not paralyze you from the promise. And I want, I, I put that quote in, in there because I want people to understand for so many people, you have been through so many reversals in your life. Some of you are watching, you have family members that are in prison, that's incarcerated. And sometimes they look based on what they've been through, that their past has them crippled to their future. But, but when we wrote this quote, I wanted to everybody uh, not just people that may have went through uh, the incarceration system, but people that may have had a different lifestyle. And sometimes the trauma of our past begins to incarcerate us from our future. And so that's why we wrote that quote that says that your past has nothing to do with your future, that the grace on your now is greater than your past. And God is trying to push you into a place of belief that when you begin to speak those words, that it begins to change your environment, but begins to change your world. And you begin to believe, but also begin to see yourself and your future knowing that it's getting better. And you said something, that's amazing.